Hi friends, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Uh, today I wanted to make a very quick video to upload to the channel. I, I had another one in the queue line about a photo walk and long story short, had some technical difficulties and things caught on fire and uh, I'll be fixing that tomorrow but for now I just wanted to get a very quick video up on this channel and I figured it would be interesting to talk about this uh, this photo. This by a um, famous, very famous photographer James Noctway and there are a lot of very intriguing things about this photo, and there's a lot of value to pull from it, as there as there is from every photo that James has pretty much ever taken. Uh, it, he does beautiful work. The first thing that that I want to take note of with this photo is, so of course this is for a photojournalist. This is a once in a lifetime sort of uh, sort of scene and story to tell. And you would you would think that <laughs> you could that if your photos weren't compositionally stellar, that the story would hold up, right? Uh, there are many blurry photos and shaky and sideways photos out there that are that are that are beautiful photos because of the story that's being told in them. Um, in this case, yes, but also the fundamentals, all, uh, many of the, of the wonderful fundamentals of compositional goodness in photography <clears throat> are here still. So we have uh, amazing, you know, of course, dramatic lighting and the, the smoke and uh, the sun shining, uh, shining through, you know, the smoke onto the rubble and this, you know, amazing... Uh, scene and you also have a sense of contrast with the firefighter over on the right which he sort of anchors the photo and you have this white smoke he's this black person on the white smoke it wouldn't it wouldn't have worked if if the smoke on the left for example was what was behind him so beautifully done compositionally James was very intentional about this I, I'm sure in in his shooting and so you have that, and then you also have what you know. What I always refer to as expression. When I say expression, I I don't mean the expression on somebody's face. I mean uh, that that can, that's part of it. But I mean the expression of of a body, the expression of a, of a car, or a dog, or whatever. Uh, the thing, the, the way things are artistically placed in a photo, <clears throat> and you see this in famous paintings from from you know years past, where the expression is meticulously crafted. There's a reason it's done that way, right? And in this case, this is a very uh, this is a very painterly image in terms of where the firefighter is placed and uh, and and just the dramatic posture that he's striking and everything all around. And another thing that I think is very interesting about this photo <clears throat> is the angle. Uh, or, or, or sort of the wideness of the shot that he chose. And uh, I, th I think that something I'm, I'm seeing more and more lately in, in, you know, my own work is sort of coming, it's becoming a glimmer of something that, that maybe I, I want to pay attention to more. And often these things grow into bigger and bigger uh, flowers of, of growth for me. The, the thing, so the amount of interest in an environment let me put it this way if you pay attention to your environment it will help you figure out how wide or how tight you should shoot um in any given scene so so he could have gotten tighter on this firefighter but because the scene was so interesting it really worked for him to to back way up and capture the, and, and use a what well, seems like a very wide lens to to capture the the drama of this entire scene in a way that's almost almost horrifying and daunting. Uh, a tighter photo would have been would have been interesting for sure, right? So, like if we if we cropped in on the firefighter on the on the right. Uh, it would have been interesting. I mean, gosh, you, it would be hard to go wrong compositionally with this scene. But the way that James did this here, uh, the the way that he framed 
this 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 very wide open just you know this this chaos of of all the mangled rubble really made this photo into what it is and so i think it's very important to to pay attention to your environment in terms of even if you're just shooting with a you know a 50 millimeter lens i'm not saying you have to say the environment's interesting, so I have to switch the lens on the fly, whatever. I'm saying, even if you're shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, should you back up, should you get in tighter? Sometimes it's good to get in very tight, right? Sometimes the interest is in the details of the person, but sometimes the interest is in the scene with the person in it, maybe very small, right? And so... So I think those are those are a couple of things we can pull from this photo. Of course, we could dig it in all sorts of different directions. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on this. And other than that, thank you for watching. I hope this brought you value. I hope you guys have a lovely day. More videos to come. Goodbye.